And for more on data security, I'm joined by Alan Friedman. He is the research director with the Center for Technology Innovation at Brookings Institution. And Alan, it almost feels like Groundhog Day, doesn't it? You feel like <laughs> Bill Murray. Every day you come in and you have these comments. Now, how damaging is this one to the United States? Uh, well, this one is particularly tricky for a couple of reasons. One, like the Mexico story, uh, it links to explicit targeting of a leader. This is not mass surveillance that we can say, well, we're not looking for anything else. This uh, moves into very sensitive diplomatic territory because, of course, every leader likes to imagine that their own internal discussions are private and not involved uh, in being monitored by friends and allies. The other reason this is a little more difficult is because Germany is particularly sensitive to this issue. Uh, between World War II and then the, the long period uh, under the communists in East Germany, uh, there's strong sensitivity towards any amount of data collection. And certainly this was a big factor in uh, the election campaigns. Well, let me ask you that, because this is a woman who actually grew up behind the Iron Curtain in East Germany. Um, how much does it rankle her, would you imagine? And, and give me the sensibility of the Germans themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine it rankles her quite a bit, and I imagine it rankles the Germans even more. Uh, there are a number of things going on. Uh, first, we have a, a strong cultural bias for privacy that's coupled with a sense that Americans just don't understand. And we see this uh, in ongoing trade negotiations where the Germans in particular are leading a charge to convince uh, Americans that we have to accept uh, European privacy conditions for future trade deals, uh, as well as just a prioritization on that particular aspect of civil liberties. Let me ask you about prioritization because Adrian Loving's a DJ. He was just here. If you were to have your greatest hits package, as you look at these lists of these <laughs> drip, 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 um, how significant is this one and what would be if, if this is number one, what's number two? How do you rank them? <laughs> it's hard to rank them because you have to say, well, what's the important question? Uh, for a lot of people, they're looking at it and say, this is all about privacy. Uh, I'm taking a slightly more global perspective and say, listen, there are a number of international systems that we need to make sure are sustainable. This really hurt the idea of diplomacy itself, the idea that countries uh, can expect uh, their alters to behave uh, and their, their friends and allies to behave in a certain way. Just as we're not going to arrest diplomats, we have diplomatic immunity. Uh, traditionally, we say, listen, you don't spy on the other guy's president. Now, of course, we know this happened throughout history. Uh, America was involved in trying to topple regimes. So there's strong concern with them sensitivity. The other concern we have uh, in some of these scandals is the nature of an open internet, the idea that there should be a single internet that we all use. Now, Germany in particular is very sensitive to this, and there have been marketing campaigns in Germany by Deutsche Telekom saying, here's a made in Germany email system uh, that you shouldn't use American companies. And that ties into a broader question of international competition we've learned uh, that all of these issues are tied together. Foreign Policy magazine had a headline, even spy crazy France is surprised at the U.S. Uh, with the Le Mans story that came out the other day. Um, and, and that gets to my next question, which is these leaders come out, but we do know a lot of this is going on in a lot of different countries. You can't be too vociferous because there may be an Edward Snowden in your country and drip, 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 you're getting nailed with it the next time around, right? You're completely right that we know that, you know, Intelligence is important, and every country has certain ideas about what it needs to do to protect itself and how far it's going to go. The real challenge in thinking about this is to sort of know not only what's going to happen from the country itself, but what did the government and the leadership of that country know about U.S. involvement? Because the U.S. has been open working with its allies. Alan Friedman, thank you so much for your analysis.